Now that we know how to take a second derivative, we want to look at an application of the second derivative. And the good news is this looks a lot like the application of the first derivative, finding max and min. But now we call it new pieces of information. So before, when the first derivative was positive, we said that the function was increasing. Now we're looking at what happens when the second derivative happens to be positive. So if the second derivative is positive on an interval, the original function f wasn't increasing, it was concave up. So first derivative being positive is increasing. Second derivative being positive, it means that the original function was concave up. It was shaped like a u. And normally I'm just going to write that as c, c, u for concave up. If the second derivative is negative on an interval, then the original function f must have been concave down. And that's just going to look like an upside down u. So something like that would be concave down. I'm normally just going to write that as c, c, d. To determine where a function is concave up or concave down, we're going to look at making a sign chart with our second derivative. So same type of steps as before, we're going to take f double prime instead of f prime this time. So we're going to take the second derivative, set that equal to zero, or figure out where it's undefined. And then in my second step, I'm going to use test values, make a sign chart, but now I want to remember that a positive sign on the second derivative means ccu. It's a u shape. And a negative second derivative means ccd, concave up or concave down. Concavity is determined by the second derivative. Increasing and decreasing comes from the first derivative. So in this first example, we are given the function x cubed minus 3x squared minus 24x plus 92. And we want to figure out where is it concave upward and where is it concave downward. So we're going to do two steps like before. Our first step is to take our second derivative now and set it equal to zero. And then in our second step, we're going to make a sign chart. So our first step here, we're going to take the derivative of this, 3x squared minus 6x minus 24. And instead of having to set that equal to zero, which we already did with this exact function in the last section, instead we're going to take the second derivative of it and set it equal to zero. So we're going to get 6x minus 6. And that is a much easier function to solve for x than the last one. So to get x by itself, all I need to do is add 6, 6x equals 6, and then divide by 6. So x is just 1. So this is no longer called the critical number because it made the second derivative 0. We're actually going to give that a name in a second. Um, but I found the value that makes the second derivative 0, and that's the value I'm going to put on my sign chart. That's the special one that I'm going to label at x is 1, f double prime is 0. And then I'm going to use random test values, so left and to the right. So maybe to the left of 1, I could just plug in 0. And I would plug in 6 times 0 minus 6. We're always plugging into the second derivative for concavity. And 6 times 0 is 0, minus 6 is a negative 6. We get a negative answer. We must be concave down on that interval. And then after 1, I could plug in anything I want. Maybe I'll just plug in 2. And I'm plugging into the second derivative on my sign chart. So 6 times 2 is 12. 12 minus 6 is a positive number. So we're concave up. So how this would realistically look to switch from concave down to concave up could look something like this. So we're going to do curve sketching in the next section. So we would switch at x is 1, and that would look like that point there in between the concave down and concave up. So that's more for next time. All we're asked here is where are we concave up and where are we concave down. So we want to fill out those intervals. So concave up is wherever the second derivative is positive. And that was from 1 to infinity. And then where my second derivative was negative was negative infinity to 1. And we're done.